Let's plant our trees far and wide and let's add a custom tree generation to our mod. Playing Minecraft is awesome. Playing with mods is even better, but the best is playing with mods and friends. Official partner of the channel, Bisect Hosting, has you covered. With its easy to use panel, you can effortlessly install over 2000 different mod packs with one click of a button. But it gets even better if you use my link in the description below and use the code COUNTENJOY at checkout. As a new customer, you will get an additional 25% off your first month. So check out Bisec Hosting for a smooth gaming experience and your server hosting needs. Visit bisechosting.com slash and use the code COUNTENJOY at checkout for 25% off your first month. All right, we're friends of Back Intelligent with more. And in this tutorial, we're adding a custom tree generation to Minecraft. Now, in this case, I highly recommend you watch the previous tutorial as well as the tutorial before that. So both the ore generation as well as the custom tree as we'll need all of the classes such as the mod bio modifiers, the configured features, the mod place features, as well as the mod world gen provider as we're going to data gen both the configure feature as well as the place feature. So that is a very important thing and we're also going to need the custom tree. So I do highly recommend you do that. Otherwise, you can also check the GitHub repository in the description below. If you just want to copy stuff over that, I guess also works. But the recommendation is definitely to watch both of those videos as well. Now for this, we already have a configured feature created last time. So this was the thing that we've created for the custom tree, basically a pine key right here with a tree grower. And the idea of this being that the tree grower, when you set down a sapling, this tree grower gets activated. It looks for the pine key right here, which is defined with this configured feature. And it's going to spawn, well, a pine tree with pine logs, pine leaves in the straight trunk placer and a foliage placer type of arrangement. And to be honest, the real only thing that we now want to do is we want to go to our mod place features and well get all of this rolling over here to also be placed inside of the world which is actually more straightforward than you might think so for this once again we need a resource key in our pl mod place features class this is going to be a resource key of placed features it's going to be a pine underscore placed underscore key equal to the register key method and call this the pine underscore placed as always adding a place over here inside of the name for the place feature. I just like to do that as a convention. And then in the bootstrap method, we can now register it already. So we can register this with the context, the pine placed key right here. And then we want to use the configured features holder getter right here to get or throw passing in mod configured features dot pine key after the first closing parentheses comma and then we want to use vegetation placements dot tree placement, use placement utils dot count extra three. We're going to do point one F and two, and then a comma mod blocks dot pine underscore sapling dot get. There you go. And that is going to be the entire thing. Now, this is extremely important for the count extra over here. Basically, the idea of the tree placement, first of all, you're going to middle mouse button click on this. Highly recommended to middle mouse button click again. And then down here, you can see, for example, some examples for, for example, here, the trees cherry over here for placement count extra, right? That's 10.1 and a one over here and so on and so forth. So you can definitely take a look at those as well. So vanilla examples, always a great choice, basically, to take a look at them. Now, for the count extra that we're using right here, it is extremely important that you understand the second number right here. So the idea is obviously that the first number is how many we're placing. And then the second one here is the chance of getting these many extra, right? So this is going to be, you know, a count. And then this is the extra count with a 10% chance. Now, the chance is very, very weirdly done. If we middle mouse by click on the count extra, you can see it's doing a bunch of weird math over here. And then down here, it's following an illegal exception. Now, what is extremely important of this number here is that it has to be one divisible by this number has to be an integer. Therefore, right, if we do one divided by 0.1, that is absolutely no issues. If we were to put in 0.2, no issues. If we were to put in 0.25, no issues. One divided by 0.3, all of a sudden, this would no longer work. If you put in a 0.3 right here, you will get an error and it's not going to work. So if it says to you, change data cannot be represented as a list weight right there, then you me that means that in the count extra, you have put in a number that is not basically divisible one by and get an integer out. That's very important. I, I don't know why they did this. To me, this is really weirdly done, but that is basically the thing that you have to keep in mind and have to be cognizant of. 
With this place feature done, we are almost done, actually. We now just need a biome modifier again. The biome modifier, of course, being the way of adding things to biomes here with Forge. And for this, we need a, another resource key right here. Public static final resource key of type biome modifier. This is going to be the add underscore tree underscore pine. Here in this case, register the key. And that's going to be our add underscore tree underscore pine. Okay, there you go. And then in the bootstrap method, again, context.register. Passing in the add pine tree key right here. And then a new forge biome modifier. Add feature biome modifier right here. This one. And the first thing is going to be the biomes.get or throw. We're going to do biomes.is underscore planes here in this case. Because I think spawning this in the planes does make a lot of sense. Because then we're going to be immediately able to see whether or not our tr pine trees basically spawn. We then want a holder set dot direct. Passing in place features dot get or throw. Mod place features dot pine key placed after the second closing parentheses a comma. And then this is the generation step. And this is also quite important. Here we want vegetal decoration in this case. And we can end it with a semicolon and no more errors should be present. And once again, you can also take a look at all of this in the description below in the GitHub repository. So no worries at all. If you, for example, want to change what biome this goes to, right, you can just change this to a different tag, for example, create your own biome tag that also works absolutely fine, like that's that's not an issue at all. And that's basically all we need to do, right? We're, we're getting this configured feature over here that basically determines how the tree would look like that is being spawned from the sapling in the mod place features. We're even referencing this. And what's also quite important here is the parameter here of the of the sapling being passed in to the, to the tree placement method is actually extremely important because if we don't do this, then your trees are going to be spawning on top of each other because this basically makes it so that the trees are only going to spawn where your pine sapling could also survive. That's extremely important that you also add this. And with this added, we can then basically reference it in our custom bio modifier. And with that, we can run the data gen over here and we should get two new JSON files. So that should be basically the, the new bio modifier as well as the place feature. And let's take a look. There we go to written and that is the add tree pine as well as the pine placed place feature right there. There you freaking go. That's going to be everything that we're going to need. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to go into the game and make a new world. You don't necessarily have to make a new world, but it's just easier that way. So let's take a look if our tree is to be found in the plains. All right, friends, let's back in Minecraft and let's just locate a plains biome over here. And we should be able to find, well, that is a interesting plains biome, but there it is, actually. There are our trees and you can see they spawn in very different varieties. These are, of course, the numbers of our configured feature, basically how they are supposed to spawn. And you can basically see, you know, how prevalent they are depending on the placed feature and the numbers we're putting in there. Highly, highly recommended as always. Play around with the numbers, right? If you're like, oh, those are not enough trees or too many trees or whatever you choose to do. I highly recommend you change the numbers, run the data gen again, and then, you know, just basically play out, play around with this as much as you need to, to get the trees just right. What I do recommend, if you want to have a rare tree, make it a little bit less rare than you want to have it in the game, possibly, uh, because trying to find a very rare tree, that's going to take a long time. But yeah, there you go. That is going to be custom tree generation added to Minecraft. But in this video, we're going to continue with trees by taking some tentative steps towards making a custom trunk placer. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.